Hello, and welcome to this AWS Builder Guide on setting up budgets and alerts for your AWS account. My name is Trevor Spires. I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS. And in this video, I'm going to explain why budgets are important and show you how to create a simple budget using the AWS console. AWS budgets are the simplest way to monitor your AWS spend and be alerted when you exceed or are forecasted to exceed your desired spending limit. Budgets help customers track and proactively monitor their AWS billing, and they also help you avoid unexpected charges in your company or personal AWS accounts. To set up a budget in AWS, you can access the console with an IAM user who has permissions to access AWS billing and cost management. Here, I'll just search on budget, select that, and you can see in the left-hand column, there's a lot of different options, but today we're gonna focus on budget. So. I simply click create a budget and I'm presented with the wizard. We'll come back to a simplified budgets later, but I'm gonna start with an advanced budget. A cost budget is the most common type of budget that you would create that's based on some dollar value, but there's also savings plans and reservation budgets for customers using uh, savings plans and reservations, as well as usage budgets if you'd like to create a budget not based on a dollar value, but maybe something like, for example, the amount of gigs that are stored in a particular AWS service. So. After clicking create budget, you give your budget a name and then you determine the period of the budget. Monthly is, is a good one to start with because that is the frequency at which uh, you will incur your bill from AWS by default. So the most important things to look at here are the amount that you want to set your budget for. So I've chosen a fixed budget set at $50, but you can put in your own a monetary figure for whatever you would like your budget to be per month. In addition to the budget, if you'd like to get proactive email alerts whenever you come close to exceeding that budget, you're gonna to wanna to set a threshold, okay? I've set my threshold at 50%, but you can set that at any percentage of that initial number that you created in the previous screen, and then you'll provide an email, uh, either an individual email or a distribution list or inbox for a team that you would like to be notified uh, if you were to exceed that budget threshold. Now my budget is created. I can get a graphical overview and a visual representation of my budget and the threshold by clicking on the budget. It'll pop up on the right hand side. And what I can do next is set up a budget report. What a budget report will do is allow me to be sent weekly or daily or monthly emails about my budget rather than only being notified whenever I exceed my threshold. This is great for customers who would like to proactively monitor and be proactively notified for their weekly, daily, or monthly AWS spend. Now I'll receive weekly emails on that specified email address about the status of my budget. Now I'm gonna finish by creating a final budget, a zero spend budget that will notify you if you exceed the free tier of your AWS account. This is great for individual learners or people who do not want to incur any charges on AWS because this will notify you when you exceed your free tier limits and are about to incur your first dollar of AWS charges. So to recap, I've created a budget for $50 that will notify me whenever I come up on $25 of spend. I've created a report of that budget so that I'll receive weekly email alerts that tell me how much spend I've incurred on AWS. And I created a simple free tier budget that will notify me when I exceed the free tier of AWS services for a use case like a personal account or self-study within AWS. I hope that you have found the demos useful. If you have any feedback for us or you'd like to request any other demos, please reach out to the contacts here. If you'd like to reach AWS sales or support, here are the links for you to do that. Please like and subscribe to the AWS channel for more AWS related content and thank you for watching.